If you two knew you was coming over, that would be a problem. Yeah. If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it, solve it, yeah. Nick, do you want to tell them? She's pregnant. Stop! I'm, I'm falling! See? That's supposed to be pushing me! You're such a bully! You just woke up bright and early. We're starting our day off right, very productive. <laughs> meant to get up. At 7 a.m. It is now 11.30. You did end up staying up until like 3 a.m. It might have been later than that. Honestly, I don't know what time I went to sleep. Our Sundays are really fun. So we're going to vlog today. We're going to try to get up because right now we're struggling. I have, why do all of our vlogs together? Do we start off struggling? This is so bad. It's 12 o'clock now. <laughs> I know. Still gotta wish my dad happy Father's Day. Bruh. It's Father's Day. Yeah. I set my alarm for 11 that went off an hour ago. Oh God, let me call my dad. <clears throat> no, this is terrible. <laughs> Are you gonna do anything for Father's Day? And Alia said happy Father's Day. Truth is, it's better cause when I see you coming, okay. all I wanna do is tell you that I love you. I know you're better off without me cause it's too your stain. I think it's too much. Oh, I hope you can make out to me. I know you can definitely do this work. It would definitely be. The ink dried in my hand. It's unthinkable. On accident, I just did way too much with my makeup today, so I'm trying to like hone it down, but it's kind of hard once you set it with the powder to tone it down. I shouldn't ask you to try. It's unthinkable. But Now we have our outfit of the day. My top is Gymshark. Actually, both pieces are from Gymshark. This is the Whitney Simmons collection, and this is the Vital Seamless, maybe? This is what we're wearing to the gym today. I'm either gonna do a lower body workout or a full body dynamic workout. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see once we get there. Baby, I'm not mad at all. We both tried and tasted fall. Right, we are in the car, which I honestly think is half the battle of getting up personally and getting dressed. Getting dressed, getting in the car, we're on the way to the gym. There's no going back at this point. I mean, there is, we could pull around now. We have some really exciting news that we, okay, sorry. I'm trying to maneuver this camera in the car and it's not working out for me. We have some really exciting news that we wanna share with you guys, but we're gonna share it after the gym because we just, we need to get to the gym before we do anything else. Cause right now it is 1.15. Guys, normally we are on our way back from the gym at this time. I check, I do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they friends. 10 toes down, I'll be free to the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'll be swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one, but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. Today we started off with our compound exercise of squats. I did warm up before on the Stairmaster for 10 minutes and then 
did a few mobility exercises. I didn't record the whole thing just to speed this workout up a little bit for you guys today, but I did four sets of eight of squats. And I always start off with my compound movement because those are going to require the most energy and they're normally the most tiring. So next we're going to move into suitcase walking lunges. These are also a goodie. Anytime you add lunges and squats into a workout, you're going to be dead. You're going to be a dead body. My AirPods died, which I'm kind of sick about, and now I have to use mix like old school headphones, which, man, you know when you don't have music at the gym, that's just detrimental. It's bad for your health, it's bad for society. Okay, you guys couldn't hear me at this point because the gym became super loud, but I'll just quickly summarize. If you enjoy hip thrusts, you may need to be diagnosed with a condition because now, do they give you the body of the gods? Yes. Will you be caked up on a Saturday because your booty's going to be popping? Yes. But performing hip thrusts, do you see my face in this? The ghetto. The ghetto. Now the results, we love to see it. And actually, all of the barbells were taken at this point, so I had to use a dumbbell. And using a dumbbell is actually a great side tip if you're a beginner and you're not used to using a barbell so take it from me if you want to look snatched add this into your routine I ended the workout with a burnout round of exploding box jumps. You guys know me. It's not an Elias workout if I don't add explosive movements into it because I work out for functionality. Function, functionality. I work out for functionality and to learn other words since I don't know how to pronounce anything correctly. But I always like to have athletic based movements and then at the very end, Nick joined me for a round of burnout burpees, yeah. which we love to do that or sprints at the end of our leg days. Good way to finish. Yeah. Now we're going to go hit a little Sunday ritual. We'll normally do Chipotle or Greens and Grill, which is like the best salad place ever. But honestly, we spend like $20 for one salad. So Chipotle is like slightly cheaper. Unless you get two bowls like me. This is good to be back on it. What are you getting? Two bowls, white rice, beans, steak, barbacoa, double meat, of course, cake on top, good cheese, and then a lot of cake on top. Can you tell he's been here before? I do white rice with double chicken to get our protein in for the day, lettuce, light sour cream, light cheese, corn, and the mild salsa. And this is my go-to bowl with a little baby queso. Nick has me starting to like the chipotle queso. I kind of hated it at first, but now because I eat it so often, I'm starting to like it a little bit more. You think it's good? I love it. Better than barrio? No. Exactly. Not, not Barrios is a place that started in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, technically Lakewood, Ohio. And it has the best queso I've ever had in my life. And I showed it to Nick and now Nick's just obsessed as I am. And then a barrio moved to Orlando. So now we have one close to us and it's a little dangerous. And we found it by accident. 
Yeah, we did. I'm just playing around. Playing around on the map, and then all of a sudden I was like, wait, I think Barrio's in Orlando. Please excuse me if I am sweating in this car. It is 95 degrees out. But let me tell you, I'm not complaining because I love the heat way more than I love the cold. For groceries, I purchased some green grapes. These are really great to freeze as a snack. Pasture-raised eggs. You guys know I love my eggs. They are just so expensive to purchase every single time, but I do think they're the best type of eggs. Carrots, I'm gonna use this in my tuna later today, and carrots are also just a really good snack, and you can use them in salads. It's strawberry season, and my last batch of strawberries from last week were so good, so I wanted to purchase these again. My vanilla almond milk normally i get the smaller container they just didn't have it today so i grabbed the bigger one but it kind of works out because i go through so much almond milk throughout the week and then these lemon perfects i have been obsessed with these they're so good because i drink so much water so having this as something else to drink just switches up the flavor i also go through a lot of honey really quickly because i use it in my tea and lattes every day I normally don't use smoothie mixes. I just saw this in the store and it looked kind of good. So we're going to try it out today when we make our smoothie. And then I bought this because I normally top my dinner with this. And I also purchased some vegetable stir fry. So I thought that would be a really good sauce to go on top. Broccolini for some more veggies, tuna. I like purchasing these little ginger shots. Honestly, you can make these naturally, but I just purchased them because I don't have a juicer, but whenever I go back home to my parents, they do. Avocados, celery, lemons, and some grocery bags on the way out. So not a full grocery haul, but just enough to get me going for this week on top of the things that I already have. This is the raspberry super shot. It has zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, and another word, honestly, that I can't pronounce that starts with a Q. Nick is watching our video that went up yesterday but i just finished meal prepping a bit and it's not really meal prepping but really what i do is prep all of my fruits and vegetables and let me also caveat and say i don't do this every single week i strive to do it every week but this just makes it a lot easier when i go to make salads or when i go to make any meal or if I want a snack to grab fruits and vegetables versus grabbing something else. And last night is a great example because honestly it was like 10 o'clock and I was like, oh shoot, I haven't had dinner. And I ended up ordering Subway, which isn't the worst thing ever, but it's just a lot easier when you have things prepped and ready to go so that you don't do what I did last night and just order food because you're too lazy. Just to give you guys a little fridge update. So up top, I have all of my sauces. You guys know I am a big sauce girl. And then here are my Lemon Perfects, my Celsius, all of my little drinky drinks. And then this is where I put some of my fruits and vegetables, protein, more veggies, more veggies. And this is going to hold us throughout the week. If you guys haven't seen this video yet, make sure you go back and watch it. It is crispy, but I might be a little biased. <laughs> Just a little bit. And truly by this point, you have a pretty good gauge of roughly how much protein you're eating. How I can run longer and it didn't kill me. And I, I feel <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. If my ass is out of shape. <laughs> hey, how can I say this? This is not a for the entire audience. <laughs> The box that you put yourself in with Nick. And Nick is one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life. And I'm saying that to say I am so grateful 
I took the time. <laughs> the last version of myself, and I'm still there. I'm not perfect by any means. So I don't know what happened. I just came down here. I mean, so many things that I never thought I would have before. None of us know what the future is or what I'm going to say. I don't know what goes on with that. Oh my gosh. Stand up. Oh my god. You know what the future holds, and that's why you want to live the life that you want for yourself and just start working on it. You don't know exactly what that's going to look like once you get to that point, but as new things come up. Finally, going to share our news. <laughs> as I'm sliding, sliding. Dick, do you want to tell them? She's pregnant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's twins. Oh. We're very excited. Okay, I genuinely want to have twins and Nick doesn't. Yeah, not yet. I think twins I, I think one at a time is perfect. Well, it's a good tempo. Four, one at a time. I think twins would be very cute, you know? They are cute, but they're also expensive. But our news is, drum roll please. We're moving in together. Oh! This means, sorry, I feel like I'm blocking you. We're going to be starting a moving series. Nick's never done a moving series before. No, I haven't. They're so much fun. I love moving series. We're probably going to move in August. August yeah. We don't know the exact date, but it's going to be coming. But a lot of stuff is going to be hitting in August all at once that you guys are also going to find out more about soon. So stay on the lookout. But it's going to be a good time. It is. First time I'm moving in with a boy. I don't know how I feel about it. I will end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed our Sunday. This is truly what we do like every Sunday. Normally we do try to get a church service in, but as you saw this morning, we were struggling. Yeah. The definition of struggling. <laughs> <laughs> One o'clock getting a workout in, but it was a solid workout, which is good. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And remember that now I'm moving to two videos a week. We're putting up the pressure this year. So we're going to have our vlog videos every Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't decided on the day. Let me know if you guys have a preference. And then our health and fitness content every Saturday. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.